Alright class, for this weekend's writing assignment, we're going to look at Sir Jonah Barrington and the circumstances of his writing. We'll be studying his essays next week, so this is in preparation to be able to look at and analyze his work. This is Sir Jonah Barrington. He lived in Ireland and served on the Irish Parliament in the 1790s and 1800s. So let's talk about Ireland at the time. In the 1700s, Ireland was famous for rioting. There were riots in the countryside and in the cities. The Irish Catholics were reacting against their lack of power. The Irish Parliament was entirely composed of Protestant leaders that the English had chosen. So obviously they were a little upset about the unfairness of the odds. These photos and clips are of Ireland itself to show you a little bit why the Irish people may have been so adamant in protecting their national identity and their nationhood and their right to control the use of their own land. Since the Irish people had gotten this terrible reputation for rioting against their English appointed overlords, the British became a little concerned in the 1790s and decided it was probably time that they take a more active role in governing their Irish neighbors. So their solution to the Irish problem was to combine the parliaments and churches of England and Ireland and essentially absorb all of Ireland into England. They did this in the year 1800 with the Act of Union shown here. It was decided by the British Parliament and the Irish people reacted by writing novels like this one, also publishing new songs like these, and publishing them for the benefit of English readers and buyers so that they could show that Ireland really was its own identity. This is the culture that Sir Jonah Barrington was participating in. He wrote essays, and his essays relied on tactics like humor, imagery, dialogue, dialect, and reader connection, since he himself was a Protestant leader, to connect with the English people and show them why the Irish were different. Why would Sir Jonah Barrington choose to use these tactics instead of a more obvious political approach? What's effective about a literary approach? And what problems might this strategy cause? What is essay writing not going to solve? I want you to consider especially in what kinds of situations might you want to try something similar? Might you want to address a problem in a different way than just stating your opposition? So please answer those three questions this weekend, and we'll talk about it on Tuesday as we're reading his essays. Thanks very much. Have a great weekend.